When fire destroyed homes and upended lives in West Kelowna last summer, the fire chief hoped he was dealing with a once-in-a-lifetime crisis. But now he's worried it could happen again and soon. It hasn't been normal weather. What we saw with the fire was not normal, but it needs to be now for us. But what we've seen uh, over the winter and into this spring uh, is also not normal. So we are concerned. Fear shared across Canada. Here's why. Much of the country is tinder dry, with extreme drought in parts of Alberta, the Northwest Territories and British Columbia. What does that look like? Check out this riverbed in Prince George, B.C. No water at all. And this new government forecast calls for warm, dry weather into the spring. With the heat and dryness across the country, we can expect that the wildfire season will start sooner and end later and potentially be more explosive. The federal government detailed plans to get cash to communities, train firefighters and work with provinces and First Nations. This is really an all-hands-on-deck moment. This is, not, uh, this is not something that any level of government can address on its own. We are gearing up earlier this year than last year. Already in Alberta, new firefighters practice their attack. Early spring is most dangerous on the prairies before the trees green up. If we have persistent dry weather and no precipitation, yeah, then I'll, I'll, I'll get nervous. Um, and for me, the biggest thing is to have my crews ready to go. And Lindsay, beyond those urgent warnings, there was also, it, it seems, some political messaging at play here. Yeah, it's pretty clear that the political forecast is heating up, Adrian, along with the weather. The Liberals, the ministers, used this emergency preparedness announcement to criticize Conservatives on climate change. And the NDP took credit for pushing the Liberals to double a tax credit for volunteer firefighters. And some Conservative MPs we spoke to said the government needs to do more and do better. All right, Lindsay Duncombe in Vancouver.